Mr. Speaker, ICT is utilized as a catalyst for development in education, health, industry, and agriculture the world over. ICT grants us the opportunity to reduce transaction costs, improve effectiveness and efficiency, as well as to enhance overall productivity. Our government goal is to ensure that the benefits of enhanced ICT infrastructure reaches every Guyanese in every community, and we will pursue this partnership with the private sector, as no Guyanese should be left behind. This year, government has budgeted 5.2 billion for ICT development. Government will liberalize the telecommunication sector and increase access to cheap data and bandwidth to ensure improved access to the internet, increase ICT literacy and expanded e-government. Schools will be outfitted with adequate equipment and software and curricula will be reformed so that ICT proficiencies can be developed nationwide. The government will continue to provide internet access through the e-government network to ensure government ministries and agencies, schools, and other educational institutions are connected and will also continue to invest in ICT hotspots and hubs, particularly in our hinterland and Amerindian communities. To this end, the National Data Management Authority will increase, receive an increased subvention of two billion to ensure bandwidth expansion and continued connectivity. The pandemic has affected educational systems across the globe and has led to the closure of educational institutions at all levels, making way for development of a series of solutions for the effective delivery of academic resources to students. In response to the close of schools, past papers, electronic workbooks, and other reference materials were made available online. The online availability of resources was supplemented by programs in the electronic media, including broadcast to schools on the radio and the learning channel on television. Mr. Speaker, an additional 200 million will be invested to expand the learning channel to ensure our children continue to have access to academic resources as we prepare, prepare for the safe reopening of schools. Mr. Speaker, government sees ICT as an enabler for job creation and development and will continue to support the sector with capital inputs for its infrastructure and true policy initiatives. We will ensure structured training and increased employment opportunities for all to realize this. In 2020, government has allocated 65.6 million for the completion of a small call center in Linden, which will then be operated by a private company generating more than 200 jobs for our people.